Hey pals and welcome back to my World of Tanks channel. I'm Antonov2 and today I've got something pretty exciting lined up for you guys. This here is Callum 1 in his... Oh, it's actually Callum 125. Well, uh, anyway, we'll call him Callum. And he's in his KV-1S. And um, one thing that I want to highlight right at the beginning of this, of this video is that... He sent me this replay by my new email address. It's antonovreplays at gmail.com. Popping up on screen right now. And uh, if you've got any great games that you would like me to make videos of, please send them in at that email address. And if they're good, I will might make a video of them and upload them on the channel. So, um, Callum1 here is the first guy to have submitted a video to this email address and uh, that's why I'm going to give him a big shout out here and um, another important thing is that when you submit a replay please give me the patch in which you played that game so that I can actually open the replay file. Uh, I've put the email address into the description of every video I've uploaded lately and that's going to stay that way so if you want to see the email address again just have a look at the description. Now uh, Callum's on Lakeville with his KV-1S which is generally seen as uh, like probably the most overpowered tank in the game tier for tier and I've got one myself in my garage but yeah, I don't know, the KV-1S just is not my type of tank because the reload's too long and uh, it's not accurate enough and so on. I prefer DPM vehicles really. So I don't really, I don't seem to be doing so well in this tank. But Callum here is having a pretty good game. He got a nice shot into the ass of that Tiger P there and he's finished off by the 87. Now, um, the KV-1S has got this 122mm gun that most of the tier uh, 7 and 8 Russian heavy tanks get, or I think actually all of them get it, and um, this gun is very inaccurate, it's got very long aiming time, uh, has a very long reload time, but the alpha damage is devastating and down tier 6 175 millimeters of penetration is amazing so this gun just owns as you can see right here and the score is 5 to 1 so um as an is2 there and the great thing about this gun is i mean the k1s gets thrown into tier 8 games as a tier 6 heavy but you know it can really look after itself in those kind of games because of this amazing gun like a lot of tier 8 tanks have got this gun as like their top gun for example a lot of tier 8 premium tanks like the IS-6, the T-34-3, the 112 and because of this monstrous alpha damage the KV-1S can still have a big, uh, actually a pretty big impact on the game in those high tier games. Now if he rolls high he could finish him off but he doesn't and the T-29 gets the Black Prince. So um, as you can see Callum here is actually having to deal with some lag issues. His ping has been um, around 200 for the entire game. That is pretty bad. Uh, but he's doing alright and you know 200 is still alright. You can still kind of play the game but it kind of gets in your way and it is quite annoying. Now what he does now is pretty interesting. I, it took me a while actually to figure out why he was doing this because like all the enemies are obviously in the enemy base or in this like uh, mountain pass I'll call it in the two line but he goes left and I was just like when I first watched this replay I was like what is he doing but then it strikes me that the enemy artillery is still alive and what he's trying to do is trying to spot the enemy artillery hoping that he might be located here. Um, so, let's see, no, he isn't here. Okay, so now he's, like, now it's not that good really because the thing is he's very far away from where the fight's happening. So, he'll have to catch up. He's now trying to take a long range shot, but the, uh, what was that, it was an 
AC-46 is killed before he can take a shot. But, you know, the KV-1S is not a slow heavy tank. It's actually one of the faster heavy tanks. So, uh, he should be able to catch up. Um, yeah. The Panzer M... The pan not Panzer, Panther M10 is taken out by T-25-2. And here's the enemy artillery. Can we... Uh, in here, here's the bad aiming time on this gun which really kills him and now this that probably he would probably agree that that wasn't the greatest shot he ever fired he bounced off the gun of the panther m10 and see we're capping and yeah we basically won this game i mean the t25-2 is finished off and now there's only a black prince t29 the tiger and the rt left Oh, I'd love to see an artillery kill in this game. Let's see if it's gonna happen. So, Black Prince is an incredibly tough tank to kill, but apparently he doesn't know that there's a fire extinguisher in the game. Or maybe he just couldn't afford it, or I don't know what. But he's just burning out. <laughs> he's burnt out. <laughs> That's a bit, uh, well, <laughs> my crappy humour again. <laughs> so, um, can we get a shot into the ass of T29? Oh, yes. I l it's Now, this gun... It can be so frustrating because of a bad aiming time, but if it hits, oh my days. It's so good in the tier 6 game, and even in the tier 7 game, it's very satisfying. And that was it. Um, the score 15 to 3, so uh, Callum's team here really owned the enemies. And he did very well picking up two kills, and um, that's the, how much damage and so on he did. Hmm, well... I knew that was a good game, but I didn't expect the results to be that good. He got a mastery badge and a sniper medal, and he picked up 42,181 credits and 1,509 experience without a premium account. That's quite a lot. And if we look for team score, he, uh, say, yeah, he dealt the most damage on the entire team and picked up the most experience. 1,509 experience. That is a lot. That is a really, really good game. And somehow you don't think that the results would be that good from watching the game. But that was amazing. Uh, if we look at the detailed reports, 11 shots were fired, 10 hit and 10 penetrated. Now... This gun has got 0.46 accuracy, so the result is kind of surprising, but all of the shots were fired at point blank range, really, or nearly all of them, and I think this one shot that didn't hit was the bounce of the Panther M10, probably, and here's the amazing thing about this gun, in 10 shots, he could deal out 3682 damage at tier 6, I mean, if that had been average rolls, that would have been 3,900 with 10 shots, so that's amazing. Uh, he received three hits, of which all three penetrated, uh, but he survived the game. Probably one of those did tracking da track damage to him. I can't quite remember. Please tell me in the comments if you do. And he detected two enemies, damaged seven destroy two and he could pick up some spotting damage which is always nice and he traveled quite far as well so one major drawback of the kv1s is because its ammunition is very expensive i think it fires the most expensive ammunition at tier six of course along with stuff like the se100 which use basically the same gun only as a tank destroy modification uh, you lose quite a lot of credits when you sh fire a lot of shots so um yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this game. I definitely did. Again, big thank you to Callum. You are the first subscriber to be featured in my channel and hopefully not the last. Remember to submit your replays if you've got any good games to antonovreplays at gmail.com. And uh, thanks a lot for watching as usual. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in one of my next videos. Bye-bye.